Hey guys, it's Charlie G. I hope you all are staying stay positive, creative out there, and just staying focused. Today I'm going to explain why it's better to find a car for a longer term versus trying to get it down for one or two years, or even putting a huge down payment for a car. It's really not worth it, but I'm going to explain why. This is not for everyone. I'm just sharing my personal experiences and thoughts and advice. However, you should make your own decision in terms of what works best for you. So if you're not someone that likes a, a new car every two years and can survive off six, seven years with a car, right? We know that buying a car is a much better trade-off for you because you're not you don't really care to get a new car every two years and if you if, if that is you it's better to finance the payment on the car instead of either buying a car outright or even putting a huge down payment on the car put the least amount as possible and stretch it out you need cash right you need cash for rainy days you need cash to do things but most importantly if you have a large chunk amount of money that for example, you were going to put down for a car, don't do that. Take that money and invest it instead because it will provide you a much better return on your investment than the amount you'd be saving if you made that huge down payment or even paid the car all out up front. And let's face it, a car depreciates, right? It's worse than a home. A home always appreciates, but a car does not. It goes the opposite direction. So let's say you buying a car the car total with all the fees and everything, it came out to be about $38,000. At a 6% interest rate, if you finance it across six years, you'll be paying an extra $7,000 for the car. So in all in total, you'll be paying $45,000. Now let's say you put a $1,000 down payment, so that brings your total payment that you'll be financing to $44,000, right? That's including the interest. Over the six years, you'll be making seven, you'll be paying $7,000 a year for a total of 45,000 as I explained, right? This is your total pretty much purchase on the car. So that includes your down payment, your interest, and also the principal that you're paying over the course of the loan for the car over six years, right? $45,000. If you put a larger down payment towards the car, let's say you put 20%, right? same price value of the car and you put like eight thousand dollars down so you have thirty thousand dollars left to finance over the course at six percent interest you will be liable for thirty six thousand dollars over the course of the six years that you'll be financing the car your total payment would be a little bit under forty four thousand so it's about a thousand and a couple hundred dollars difference it's not like a home where it's like a hundred thousand dollars or so because it's a short term financial situation. It would be a thousand dollars and change difference if you had put eight thousand dollars up front for the car versus putting a thousand dollars down for the car. Why is it not good to do that? Although your car payment would be less, it is not a good idea to put a huge down payment on a car. The difference between the eight thousand dollars down versus the thousand dollars right is seven thousand dollars different. So if I have eight thousand dollars I'm not going to put it on the down payment. Instead I'm going to put it in an account that grows. It could be a mutual fund, it could be stocks, it could be a balance of things, but however, it should be an account that grows with the market. You're beating inflation and you're getting a better return on your money. Let's look how much $7,000 is over the course of the six years. At 7% annual return over the course of six years, if I invest $7,000 and don't put no money for months to come for until that six years, that money will be $10,600. That is a $3,600 gain on the $7,000 investment that I put in, right? That is a much better option. Although the, the payment of the car would be more because I'm putting less down, over the course of the six years, I have saved an extra $3,600 over my $7,000 investment. That is much better. That is a much better option. And that's how you have to look at your money. It's always better to have cash that you can invest in, that you can touch, you can just manipulate however you want to instead of giving away to the bank and just financing the, the, the least amount possible. No, finance as much as possible. God forbid something happens to you, it's important to have life insurance. That is why it is better to finance. 
because rather the life insurance policy covers all these debts that you owe than you having to try to struggle and pay that off. Finance things for as long as you can as possible. Even if the monthly payment is larger, it's better to have the cash that you need to be able to do things as well as invest in versus you putting more down and then scrambling for money when you need it. That is not a smart way to really invest in finance in, in, in life. I just showed you why it's important that we do not try to lower our payments up front. Put always remember anything you're financing put the least amount down as possible unless the interest is like ridiculous but if the interest is as simple as that then it's not really worth it if the interest was so high in the seven percent growth that i would be getting back on my money would not be they would not surpass what i would be saving then yes it would make sense so if you were to save eight thousand dollars in interest versus the $3,600, then yes, I would understand that it's a better option to do that. But because interests are not that crazy, we could do that kind of stuff. So if you're going out there getting that car, finance, finance as much as possible. Even if you got the money, finance it. Use that money, invest it, put it in a mutual fund where you don't have to look at it for a year. Most mutual funds grow with a pretty good return. You can research several out there and see what they've been returning on a five year, 10 year, etc. So please definitely think about it. Um, speak to speak to a, a financial counselor if you have to, a financial advisor. I'm just giving you advice on what worked for me and I hope it is benefiting to you as well. Typically six years is the max most banks will give you. I think with the seven year option, you would have to put a larger down payment, which I said, it's not good to do that. So. Always put the least amount as possible, and I believe six years is the normal term that they give you to put the least amount down. Let me know if you guys are planning on buying a new car. If you recently bought a car, let me know what kind of car that you have. I just recently purchased the Honda Accord Hybrid, the top fully loaded touring model. is running pretty smoothly, and I'm financing that for six years as well. So please share. Let me know what you guys are, are whipping it out there, you know? so. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment if you can. Stay safe out there and keep being positive and creative. Peace.